and I'm here in the Silverstone Wind Tunnel with Rule 28 to try and find ways to make you faster for free. We're going to be looking at hand position, shoulder position and head position. So in the process of this we're running multiple tests. Um, the starting point is what we're calling a breakaway position. So this is rung one, where we're doing upright to breakaway position to aero drop. And this is the start of rung two, where in supposedly the similar breakaway position, when we're then going to shrug shoulders. So the difference between these, back position is pretty similar, but it's just head pretty aggressively down, not huge aggressive, but breakaway definitely. In this one, you can see it's popped up above the back. There's an 11 watt difference that that's caused. So in that first test, we were comparing the difference between riding in an upright position to break away to then really low in drops. You're starting in the power for 45 k an hour, it was 392 watts. Coming into that breakaway position, that dropped down to 320. So that's 72 watt saving there. Going down into the area drops actually cost you a little under seven watts from that breakaway position. That second run we did, where we're comparing a relaxed breakaway position to shrugging your shoulders in. Shrugging your shoulders, you went from 331 watts to 318. Then adding in on top of that shrug, rolling your wrists in, that brought 318 watts down to 360. So yeah, in that last run where we're comparing a breakaway position with empty pockets to a breakaway position with full pockets. With empty pockets, it was actually 326.9 watts for 45k an hour. When we filled your pockets with uh, bars, that actually brought your required power down to 325.3 watts. So that's a saving of a watt and a half carrying extra food. Really interesting, really interesting. Good to know as well. Yeah. So what's happening there is there's a low pressure area yeah. around your lower back. Um, so there's a pressure differential between your front, high pressure, back, low pressure, just trying to pull you backwards. Filling in that area with something like food is actually reducing that low pressure area behind you. So it can actually make you faster as we'll see. Very interesting. Well, some fascinating uh, insights here. Fantastic, thank you very much for having me. Um, really interesting to find out how you can go faster for free by just making small changes on the bike.